Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to this latest video weather briefing. I try to keep this short and sweet, but there's a lot of active weather potential for Southern California, including heavy rainfall and then snowfall next week. Moderate to high impact across our region expected from two separate storm systems. How much rain did we see already? Well, the atmospheric river brought significant rainfall as shown on this map. Check out your location to see how much rain fell in the gauges that might have been in your neighborhood anywhere from half an inch to an inch and a half in most places, including deserts. What is the outlook? Well, we expect high impact from rainfall, and that'll be developing on Thursday, continuing into Thursday night, with lingering rain all the way into Friday. This is a warm storm again. Now, next week, we shift gears after a fairly quiet weekend. We increase the wind, and then we also increase the snow potential for next Monday and Tuesday as a strong cold front arrives. What's it look like on the satellite? We have a lingering low pressure area that looks rather benign over the California Bight, but what it is doing is it's gathering new energy and also tapping into the existing deep tropical moisture from the south. As this shifts eastward, we should see blossoming and developing uh, rainfall that spreads across our deserts, mountains, and even all the way to our valleys and coast on Thursday, later Thursday through Thursday night, and even into Friday. The big picture of things are here. On the left-hand side is an outlook for the next six days. You can see the two target areas are the Sierra Nevada because of the storm next week and Southern California, largely because of the storm Thursday, Friday. Zoomed up over on the right-hand side, you can see the biggest impact area is gonna be the San Gabriels all the way across the San Bernardino mountains but also the high deserts look at the widespread heavy rainfall potential most of that's going to occur thursday and thursday night let's look at a little more detail so uh for the storm number one for thursday friday this is what it looks like heavy rain uh, will develop and even some thunderstorms moving up from the south affecting the mountains also affecting the deserts and then also spilling into the inland empire and parts of the coast and valleys of San Diego. Uh, the numbers are on the left hand side and you can see most significant rainfall looks to be our mountains and our deserts. That includes the lower deserts and the upper deserts. What about snow? This remains a moist system. Remember it's gonna tap into some more tropical moisture. The low pressure has been sitting offshore for days. It's modified. So our snow levels are gonna be primarily above 7,000 feet with a mixture at 7,000 feet. So uh, in the higher terrain, up around 8,000 feet, we could see some significant wet snow, a lot like the wet snow we saw uh, early Tuesday. Where does this storm come from? Well, it's sitting offshore, as I showed you on the satellite, um, and it's slowly drifting to the east. It's got a really strong piece of energy that's gonna wrap around it and kickstart it again and allow it to move across the Mexico border, northern Baja, and most importantly, it'll tap in or retap into tropical moisture. That's what puts our deserts and our mountains at threat for the most heaviest rain and even the thunderstorms. So really all the Colorado River Valley up through the Mojave Valley, back up Imperial Valley, back into the Inland Empire and San Gabriel, San Bernardino Mountains. That'll be mostly Thursday afternoon through Thursday night. What about the next storm? We've been tracking this storm for a while. It looks like the winds are gonna pick up late in the weekend, probably Sunday evening. This storm is fast moving, a lot like the storms we saw back around Thanksgiving and Christmas. It's gonna have a track that takes it all the way down from the north, and it's gonna swing across the California Bight. So what's gonna happen is precipitation is gonna be most significant in Southern California versus Northern California very much like the storms we saw Christmas and Thanksgiving. Now, here's an issue. The storm looks like it's gonna stall out on Tuesday. It may linger all the way to Wednesday as additional pieces of energy come down from the north once the door is opened up for that. And so when this storm starts to close off, 
uh, not break off or cut off. It's still in the core of the polar westerlies. But once it starts to close off and then wait for additional energy upstream, that's going to linger the potential for heavy rain and heavy snow, at least into Tuesday, if not into Wednesday. So a much, much colder storm. Snow levels down to as low as 3,000 feet potential. Here are the details that we just talked about. Storm number one is gathering moisture. It's going to draw it up on Thursday and Friday with the mountains and deserts having the highest threat for excessive rainfall or flash flooding. Storm number two, that transitions into more wind and heavy snow. It arrives probably on Monday, sometime Monday, with a strong cold front bringing high winds and crashing snow levels and a band of heavy rain. Now, it potentially could linger into Tuesday all the way into Wednesday. So that storm next week, completely different, and but a lot like the storm we saw for Thanksgiving and Christmas. So we could see potentially, keyword potentially, moderate to high impact because of those low snow levels. So keep that in mind. Our snow levels are really high for this storm Thursday, Friday, up around 7,000 feet. Next week, a completely different story, down around 3,000 feet potentially. All right, here are the details. Remember, tune into weather.gov to get the latest watches, warning, and advisories. Because the computer models have been showing these storms for consistently several days, if not weeks, there's moderate to high confidence in the solutions. Now, the details we will see. The details, um, moderate confidence on Thursday with this rain developing, becoming widespread, lasting at least into Friday morning uh, with the heaviest inland, so our mountains and deserts. And that's where the flash flood watch is in effect for potential flooding. Snow levels are high, but there's still a potential, some impact up at that level. The main storm center arrives Thursday and crosses the northern Baja. It's going to eject a strong piece of energy, we call it, through the bottom of the storm, tap into that tropical moisture, and really blow up showers and thunderstorms across our deserts, mountains, and then some of that's going to spill westward into our valleys Thursday afternoon through Thursday night. Some of that rainfall will be heavy. Showers will linger all the way through Friday, possibly even to Friday evening, um, especially over the mountains and deserts. Rainfall, one to three over the mountains and deserts. Coast, closer to a quarter to half. Places in between, like in the Inland Empire, around an inch of rain. That's quite a bit of rain. And those areas um, have large deficits between Riverside um, and Ontario. The next storm is cold, completely different in terms of its impacts, wind and precipitation, but also those low snow levels. So some travel impacts. We'll update you, obviously, as we get closer to that storm. Check out weather.gov for updates, and you can also see updates on Facebook, Twitter, and, of course, this video gets posted online and YouTube. Please stay safe. Check the latest forecast before your departure. Don't assume that it's just raining in one spot and another spot. And plan, even though it's warm now, plan accordingly for early next week for low snow levels.